everyone. Just give this a second to get going. Okay, it says I'm live, so I hope I am. I am Jenna Anthony. This is Apple Dolly Creations. Um, welcome. Let me know you're here when you're when you hop on. Okay. Sometimes this does not record my introduction. Okay. So those of, we have a lot of new members here. So those of you that don't know me, I do mainly sewing. I love to craft also. Um, I do a lot of primitive. So those of you who don't like the primitive, just don't add that to the item that we're making. Uh, I get a lot of um, people saying, I don't like primitive. I don't do primitive. And then I get some people to say, you don't do primitive enough. It needs to be more primitive. So <laughs> trying to get that happy medium for everybody. So what we're doing today is this week we've been doing uh, Americana. And on Wednesday, I didn't realize it was Wednesday So and, until Wednesday was over. So we didn't do a video on Wednesday because I lost track of my days. <laughs> you ever do that? I do that a lot. So what we're using is a cardboard food container. Now, this one was um, a, in, um, a coffee mix. It was flavored coffees. I just took a can opener and cut the bottom out of it, pinched it together, hot glued, and then put these clips on here. I wanted this to be um, totally set before we try to use it. Now your uh, food containers is oatmeal. Uh, drink mixes. There's all kinds of food that comes in cardboard. Uh, they're cardboard tubes is what they are, including your salt. This is a, a cardboard food container. If you take this label off, you have a cardboard food container. Now, I am making a hanger. Uh, you don't have to make a hanger. You can make a, a shelf sitter. Just leave your bottom on and just take your top off. This is cardboard also. The top and bottom is cardboard. Just pull them off. You just pull them off. And you have a cardboard food container. So, let's get rid of this. So, this is a coffee mix. It's flavored coffee. And these are just Dollar Tree clips you buy. So this is how we're doing it. One side's open, the other side I glued closed. And we're using tinted Mod Podge. Now if you don't like primitive, don't tint your Mod Podge. This is Mod Podge that I have added grunge to. Now I want it a little bit more, a little darker today, so I'm adding more instant coffee to it. Now this instant coffee I get at Aldi's, and it, this is under five dollars for a jar. There's eight eight ounces in here, so I'm just adding some of the granules right to the the mix. Now those of you that are new, the grunge recipe is at the top of the page. And what it is, is instant coffee, water, cinnamon, and vanilla. Now, when I make this, I I probably, the plastic container I use is like a half gallon of, gr of grunge. I do it at a time. Um, but I just dump, dump it all together. I've made this for so many years, I just dump it together. Now, the, the cinnamon... In the recipe, but I also I use cinnamon, but I also use nutmeg and allspice and ginger and all the the baking spices, and I just keep them all in a jar here in my room. When I get down to a little bit in a, in a container in the kitchen, I just dump it in here. I've also um, ran out of vanilla one time. I didn't realize I didn't, I was out of it. So I use coconut extract. Oh my goodness, did that bunch smell fantastic. So this 
Um, the basic recipe is coffee, water, and cinnamon vanilla. But you can add that and customize it to what you like. So I just added some more. And then as soon as this instant coffee hits anything that's liquid, it starts to dissolve. Now this is already dissolved in here. But I am going to put the lid on this and give it a shake. Just so nothing settled to the bottom. Now this is just regular Mod Podge. Now I like to water my Mod Podge down just a little bit. So when I originally made this batch, I used grunge. And I just added a little bit. It doesn't take much to tint this. But you get this coffee, vanilla, caramel looking. And I like that. So what we're also using is a Dollar Tree napkin. Now most of the Dollar Tree napkins are only printed on one square. These have all four. So we're using two of those squares that are going in the same direction. So we need to take the second ply off. Because you, when you're doing any kind of Mod Podge with a napkin, you cannot use more than one ply. So this is what we're going to use, two of these. I'm also going to make a flag. So I'm using some white fabric. And we're going to cut down one of these napkins. We're going to take one of these, just like we did on Monday. We're going to cut one of these apart. And I'm just cutting some of the, of the stars out and some of the stripes. Because we're not using a whole square. Now we're going to make a little flag for this grungy little bear that I have. Now you see he's only half of a bear. But we're using him. Now, I grunged him, and I put him in the oven. Now, when you put things in the oven, it's 275 for 10 minutes. I did him twice because he is stuffed. It took longer to dry. I took him out, and I let him cool, and he still wasn't dry. So, I put him back in the oven for another 10 minutes on uh, 275. I did five minutes on one side, flipped it five minutes on the other. Now, when you're doing your fabrics in the oven like this, when you're grunging them, don't leave your oven. Because depending on what the fabric is, what it's made out of, it can start to scorch and burn. So you don't want that. Now, very primitive, you want some of that little scorching on it. Now, he is kind of scorched. I left him in there just a little bit longer so that he would scorch just a bit. And that's what those dark areas are uh, but you have to be very careful because this will burn so that's our grungy little bear that we're going to use we're going to make him patriotic so his cinnamon is falling off so I have this piece of white fabric and we're going to take take part of this napkin now I'm folding this in half. I've got to take the second ply off. Now if you don't like primitive, there's parts of this video that you can skip. Like the one we're doing right now. I'm folding this in half. I'm folding this in half. And I'm just using my nails. And I am ripping just the very edge of this part, the stars here. So it gives it more of a worn look. And I'm going to do the same thing with the star, with the stripes.
So I think we're going to have to cut that the stars down just a bit more. So we don't want this bear to have a gigantic flag. I mean, he could carry a gigantic flag, right? I have a, a bamboo skewer that I grunged. It's sitting here to dry just to give the some color. See, it's, we're going to use tinted Mod Podge and we're going to put it on this piece of uh, fabric. Now I'm just painting this on just with a paintbrush. Just enough to do our little flag. Then I'm going to go back over this. Now make sure when you do this that your edges are really sealed. because this will come apart if it's not. It'll start to peel off. Let me cut this down just a little bit. Because the stars is out of proportion to the flag. And then we're going to put this on and do the same thing. We're mod poshing over this, making sure these edges are really sealed. So those of you that are new, welcome. And there's what we have, a little flag. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to let this dry because I already have one done. It's already dried. So we're going to take our container and I'm using a big foam brush because this little paintbrush is not going to be enough. And we're going to Mod Podge the napkins onto this. I want to cover up this edge and this edge. So I have some just plain blue a strip of fabric and we're going to glue that on. Now on the top I'm just gluing right up underneath of the edge see just barely covering that edge because we want most of the fabric on the inside just to cover up that inside look. So we don't want to see cardboard. And I have glue on my fingers and I'm sticking to everything. So we're just going to go around right underneath of that lip. Hi mom. I have doll stuff sitting everywhere here, so I have thread everywhere in this room. I'm going to have to take a day and just stop sewing and clean this room up because everything is getting stuck to everything. <clears throat> so I'm going to go inside on the cardboard and put glue all the way around so we can push this fabric inside. We are making a teddy bear patriotic hanger. It just gives that little bit of a lip in there coverage because you don't need the whole inside covered because the teddy bear is going to cover most of it. And 
And then we're going to cover up this bottom too. So we're going to just take this piece of fabric and just wrap it right around the bottom. this down some so we can wrap our edges so everything is covered Then we're going to fold this up and glue it on this side. We have our top and bottom covered. We're going to take our Mod Podge. Now this is the tinted and we're going to do one whole side of this at a time. We're going from the top lip all the way down to the bottom, right over top of the fabric we just put on there. Now, if you don't like the, the uh, primitive, just use regular Mod Podge and don't tint it. Now, I've had some questions of people because I talk about grunging my fabric and putting it in the oven. I am going to do a video one day next week on that because I am I'm confusing people some of you so you can see my process now I've put this on pretty liberal but not so that it's puddling you don't want it to puddle on there and we're going to take our napkin And we're going to start on the side. Now, if this is too long, it's fine. We can trim it. And this is too long. So I'm just going to gently, I'm holding it like this so I can press this down with my hand. Now, when your napkin gets wet, it will tear. So be careful when you're rubbing it. You don't want to over rub this. You want to make sure your air bubbles are out. Sometimes just hitting them and pressing that down works. And we'll flip this back and we're going to do this side. Now because of the shape of this container, the way we folded it, this napkin is going to be not fit exactly right because this isn't square. But that is fine because we're doing this rustic. Now I'm making sure this edge of the, of the other side of the napkin is down before I lay this side down. And you want to make sure you have enough of this Mod Podge on your 
top and bottom edge. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to work it around. Now this side wants to wrinkle. The other side didn't. So then we need to Mod Podge on top of this. And what this does is not only help you work out those wrinkles and the air bubbles, it also is a sealer. And the tint in the Mod Podge, the coffee, is going to help give this an aged look. But when it dries, it's not going to be clear like Mod Podge, but it's not going to be as modeled as it looks right now. We got to trim this down. So we have it covered and I'm just going to trim off this excess And we're going to have to seal this edge again. This is done. So we're going to set this over here and just let that set up just a bit. And we're going to take our little teddy bear. Now he's only half a bear. Hi, Di. He's only half a bear. Hi, Judy. And I'm not sure why I only had half a bear, but he grunged really nice. So I have some fabric that I put a jingle bell on. It's a rusty bell. And I'm going to tie it around his neck. And he's going to hold the flag that we made a few minutes ago. So just give him a a little hanger there. So this is the flag that I did earlier. It It's dry. And I glued it to a piece of a uh, bamboo skewer. Now as this was drying, I kept wrinkling it. So it looks like it's flying. See the wrinkles in it? And we're going to cut this down and put it in his hand.
So if you just go around and uh, score it, you can break it off. And we're going to put this in his hand. Just going to take his paw, the tip of his paw, and fold it over with some hot glue. And he's going to hold the flag. So I don't want the hot glue to show. So I'm moving it so there you go. So he's holding his flag. And we're gonna put him in the container that we just did. I gotta get these strings off of here. I'm just gonna hold this for a second. Let's put a clip on it. So I'm gonna use a hair dryer. <laughs> And I'm going to dry this container just a little bit. Still wet, but we can go ahead and finish him. Get my fingers unstuck. So we're going to glue him to the inside. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and put it around. And I am being very generous with this glue because we want him to stick. Now you can do this with any stuffed animal. You can do this with a doll and make her. So we're going to stick him in there. And it's going to take a second for him to stick. Okay, I think he's stuck enough. He'll, that glue will continue to set. So that's what we have so far. So I'm going to lay it down. And I have this blue fabric that has these little stars on it. And we're going to use this as our hanger. So one is not long enough because the bear is tall. So I'm putting the two pieces together folding it in half and making a slit. Then I'm pulling one piece through the slit of the other. And then back through again. Now I'm making sure, because this fabric is not printed on both sides, that the print side is out. So you just got to manip manipulate, can't say that word today, your fabric so that you get the printed side sticking out on both of them just by twisting it. And we're just going to pull it and twist this there you go. Now this together is too long but that's okay we're going to cut it. So we're going to make a knot and we're going to glue this knot on the side. And I'm gluing it behind his hand because I want his arms in the front. Now because this Mod Podge is wet, this is going to take a second to, dry, to stick this hot glue. Let 
Now, how big of a hanger, whoops, I just pulled it off. How long of a hanger do we want? Now, you don't have to make this into a hanger. You most definitely can uh, do it as a sitter, just like the, uh, the salt container. Just don't take the bottom off, just take the top and use it to, as a shelf sitter. We only have a couple of days left for you to join Apple Dolly Creation YouTube channel. You must be a member of Apple Dolly Creation Facebook and Apple Dolly Creation YouTube. There's only a couple of days left to hop over there and join. And I posted that again today with a picture of the a link to the YouTube channel. And um, there's a picture of what the gift is going to be for two of you. Two of you are going to be winners. And that drawing is on the 30th. And if you join the YouTube channel, please let me know on here on Facebook that you have joined because my analytics on YouTube are not working exactly correct. So I don't want to miss any of you for the drawing, but you must be a member of both YouTube and the Apple Dolly Creation Facebook. So there's what we've got so far. I'm going to take some, uh, this is a piece of gingham check, and I'm just going to cut a piece of it and tie around the handle. Where that knot is, where we put the two pieces of fabric together. Okay, Diana. I'm just going to tie it right around that knot. It not only covers up that knot, it gives that knot support, and it also... Just gives another little bit of color up here on the handle. And I'm going to put a rusty star on that knot. I have some stars in here that have wire and some that don't. I want one that doesn't. There we go. And I'm going to glue that right on top of that fabric we just tied on there. To me, you can't get enough extras on these. So the glue should be set up. So there's our little bear. Let me get the flag in front. I'm going to glue this hanger right behind his ear so that it, so it won't go in front. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there and pop that on there. And the same thing over here. Just a little bit of glue behind his ear. Now you can use, instead of fabric, you can use jute as your hanger and like I said you can use any animal or or even a little doll you don't have to cut them off I just happen to have half of a bear for some reason I don't know why so there you go we have a patriotic little bear 
and that container was a flavored coffee, one of these cardboard containers that I just took the bottom off. Now, if you don't have a cardboard container, you definitely can do this with a, one of the food tin cans. Do one of those smashed cans. So there you go. What do you think? Thanks, Diana. So I will upload a video on how I grunge my fabric. Um, if it's not this weekend, it definitely will be next week. Because some of you want to do it and you're kind of, the bear's not glued in the front. Some of you want to do it, but you're not quite sure of putting the fabric in the oven. Now you have to use a very low oven, 275 is what I do, and do not leave your oven. <laughs> Thanks mom. Do not leave your oven. Now sometimes I will leave my fabric in, if I'm doing very primitive, for 12 minutes, and I do it, ha uh, do it halfway, turn the fabric and do it halfway, because then you get both sides. If you leave it in any longer, you start getting burn marks. And sometimes that's okay to, if you are very primitive. And sometimes I do burn my fabric a little bit. But just to grunge it, you want 10 minutes, 5 minutes on each side and take it out. And if it's not completely dry, just hang it to dry. I have a hanger, hanger that I just throw it over and let it dry. So there you go. That's our little teddy bear. He's all ready for 4th of July, Flag Day, Memorial Day, any of those. So I appreciate you hopping on here and watching with me. I'm going to hang him up and let the Mod Podge completely dry. Remember, join YouTube and you'll be entered in for that Citrine wear bowl with all kinds of scented stuff that I put in it. I scented little mini clothespins and there's rusty stars in there and little wooden hearts that I'd scented and there's nutmeg pods and cinnamon sticks and there's dried apples and oranges that I uh, put cinnamon on and there's a light on it. It's very cute. So hop over there to YouTube. The link is on the page. I put it there this morning. And join, and we'll see who the two winners are. Thanks a lot. Hi, Stephanie. You just hopped on at the end. You'll have to go back and watch the beginning. So we just made a little primitive teddy bear in a hanger. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day.